All right, we're back. Uh, I moved out of the keep. Realized I got to get some um, expert flame rooms, which I don't have. So I thought I'd go and check if there's any here. I don't think there is, but I think that's what I need to buy because then I can make some expert. Then I can make some master, and then I can make grandmaster. I think that's what I'm looking at. But uh, I came in here, and uh, he's envying somebody, envying their love. But envy is what demon feels. I decided for uh, I decided for something it cannot have. Uh, yes, yeah, see, so this is the sort of thing going on again. So I think, you know, he's feeling Christoph's sort of, like, uh, love for Cora. Um, yeah, envy their love. Uh, yeah, just be careful, man, you're not mortal, okay? This world is difficult to understand. You coexist with both great darkness and great beauty. It must be confusing. Yet now I find myself wishing to be more. It is enlightening. Thank you for bringing me to this world. Don't mention it, man. Uh, th well, thanks for sticking around, I guess, you know. Thanks. Which I shall continue to do, if you allow it. Well... You have proven yourself a friend, Grey Warden. An example of all that is worthy in the mortal world. I am proud of what we will accomplish together. Yay, he approves. He is now ridiculously happy. And that's just dandy. But yeah, I don't think I have any... Uh, May I be of service? Expert stuff. Although I could get stuff enchanted. Certainly. Which may well be a good idea. Expert frost. That's really annoying. Uh, expert... Oh, expert... Fr okay. Hmm... So is that just the one? They're all novice stuff. Still struggling a bit with, still struggling a little bit with it, but uh, let's go out here again. Yes. Just with you. This is not brilliant, although it's a minor, minor, minor thing. But you know, they just, they just sort of basically overlooked. He's what leveled up as well, but so from my understand it, um. Grandmaster Flame Room needs some Master Flame Runes, doesn't it? Okay. Master Flame Runes needs some Expert Flame Runes. And Expert Flame Runes need Journeyman Flame Runes. Journeyman... Oh, there we go. Needs Novice. Okay, hang on. So if I make... So, right, then I can make one of them. I'm going to make more of these. Okay. Then I can make one of these. But I need to make two of these. Okay, now I can make a master, then I can make a grand master, then I think I have everything. Should we go and check? Should we go and check? So many arrows. Come on Anders, let's go and have a look, see if I can do this. Yes, Commander? Is this everything you need for the Dragonborn Zord? Yes, 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 we can begin. So momentous. Where to begin? What type of blade would you like? Uh, just a normal one, please. The blade, its balance. Your thoughts? Flexible, raw power, and unstoppable swing. Depends who's going to use it. Flexible and nimble or raw power. Hmm. I could give justice it and have like a raw power destroyer because he's really good defensively now so why not give him a sword that just makes him awesome offensively so let's because i'm thinking justice because my sword's pretty nice anyway yeah certainly commander and for the forging itself i have famari enchanted materials aplenty and the bone is very receptive hmm i want it as sharp as sharp can be that'll be for getting through armor Whatever can lend it in defense or make it effortless to swing. I suppose that's... I suppose I could do that one because then that's less fatigue to be used, yeah? Whereas this one in defense, he's already got like the awesome shield and armor and stuff and I'm going to put some runes on it. So I don't think he needs anything more in defense. Um, and sharp as sharp can be, yeah, so that's cutting through armor. But I have spells that can do that anyway. So I think I'm going to make it effortless to swing. Now, let me commence. Look at it. It's my finest work. Use it well. 
Let's look at it. Okay, created a Dragonborn Sword. Let's have a look at this thing. Vigilance. That actually sounds really good. Um, I can't compare it to his current one. But it's better. <laughs> Massive damage. Critical chance really high. Armor penetration strength modifier. Um, plus one to armor abuse. Plus two armor penetration. Plus five stamina regeneration. Plus two attack. Plus 50 stamina. And five fire damage. Plus three slots. That looks freaking amazing. Alright, let's go and give that to Justice and then go and get other stuff back. So well done, Anders, for that. You're a good lad. So I worked I worked out the uh, huh. the crafting, which I'm, I'm pleased about. There was a lot of comments about how I, you couldn't do that in this game, but whether it's been patched or whether I looked out, I don't know. Um, but yeah, because of the way that it sort of like worked with the inventory that was available in the game. Um, right, let's go. And I'm off. <laughs> and this time we'll bring everyone. Yes. 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 Except Ogren. Which I feel bad about, but he's quite happy in the keep. I mean, I'm sort of keeping him back in case the Darkspawn attack the Vigil Keep while I'm away. And, you know, I, I kind of trust him to stick around and do what he has to do. So that's, plus he's a dwarf and he's working with the dwarves here. So, yeah, that works really well as an explanation why I'm not keeping him. Uh, more magic for you. And just next. So, Cleansing Old Inferno is looking extremely... Uh, Yeah, Inferno. Although he's already got Blizzard. I don't want this. Cleansing Aura I never really use. <laughs> which I should, I know. Maybe we can go down the haste route. Uh, quite honestly, Spell Might is something that everyone's been mentioning. Well, not everyone, but it's been mentioned quite extensively. Uh, and it's in Spirit, which he already knows quite a bit about. Um... I don't want to go down this route. So let's see. Mana drain. There's open a small amount of mana from it. Yeah, against a uh, spellcaster. Then mana cleanse. Sacrifice personal mana to nullify the mana of enemies in the area. Cast it overflows with magical energy, making spells more powerful, but expanding am a mana rapidly and suffering a penalty to the mana, re mana regeneration. Then mana clash. The caster expels a large amount of mana in direct opposition to enemy spellcasters who are completely drained of mana and suffer spirit damage proportional to the amount of mana they lost. So if I cast that straight away against a mage, boom. Alright, we'll go down, probably go down that route then. Again, don't have enough spell slots, you know. This is, if I could drag this upwards and have two rows of it, that'd be pretty sweet. But I could put it there. If we get, um, so I don't need this anymore. Oh yeah, and I was going to do some bloody, uh, it pounds a lot, yay. Um, putting stuff in slots and, and stuff. Let's do that. And then we'll probably head into Anrathrin, or whatever the place is called. <laughs> May I be of service? We've got some stuff to do there as well. Of course. So, quit by Varax, that's fine. Quit by Varax, ah, but I don't have any runes for that. Lamented. Oh, hang on. Yes, well, let's take these out, actually, because I'm not going to be using this. Armor of the Sentinel. Quit by Justice again. No, no. Um, let's just take everything out and just see. Okay, that can stay there. Armor of the Legion. Oh, you, that's uh, greedy. I'm not even using you, actually, so. And Vigilance. Let's just de-ruin de everything. Justice, my man. I got a present for you. I would say that's slightly better. Oh, he's got plus three electricity damage on that. I suppose we'll get away with that. There. There you go. May I be of service? Runes! Certainly. Specifically, have you got, like, armor runes and stuff? Let's have a look. Rune trace. Oh, this isn't how it works, is it? It's all tracings and stuff, so I've got to make them myself. But I can't be bothered. Never mind then. May I be of service? Yep. Of course. So let's enchant yours, basically. Constitution, avoid missile attacks, and willpower. Actually, willpower I think I'll have. On me mage. And plus one armor, I suppose I can keep that as well. Spellweaver uh, has got movement speed and cold damage. What? Okay. Physical resistance, fire damage, fire damage. 
fire damage. Don't really have that many runes, do we? Uh, vigilance. Let's have a look at vigilance. I, I guess the spell, uh, yeah, spell resistance would be pretty good. We can also do chance of paralysis. A bit of fire damage maybe on it. Yeah. And for spell weaver, ah, you can have the cold damage and the. Uh, what is the one that does paralyze? I thought there was one that did paralyze rather than just the movement speed. All right, fair enough. Well, if you reduce their movement speeds, that'd be pretty sweet. Flame, electricity. Yeah, and then this physical resistance, that spawn damage. Yeah, okay, I think that'll about do. Okay. Nice. So, where are we off to now? Where are we going? Yes. 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 Where are we going to go? Oh yes, I said, the city. I know what I'm doing. I see that you're feline companion remains with you. <laughs> he seems happy enough. Isn't that right, Sir Pounce a lot? <coughs> to enslave another creature does not seem just. He's not a slave. He's a friend. And he's also a cat. A cat that lacks freedom. Oh, just ignore him, Sir Pounce a lot. They don't have pets in the Fade, apparently. <coughs> Justice, why are you meowing? I have a lot of other stuff to do here, I just realized. Oh uh, yeah, we got other things to... Alright, Mr. Wade. Yes, Commander? I got some stuff, yeah, living tree. Let me see, let me see! <gasps> oh, amazing! <gasps> this <laughs> might be Hartwood. What's Hartwood? I'm not exactly sure. The Dalish Elves are so prickly about sharing. If I were allowed to experiment with this, I might be able to make a bow. Or a shield, yes. A boat. I can't do that right now, you understand. Here's a list oh, of no. materials I need. Not again. They may be a trifle hard to come by, but you must get them. Oh, not again. Oh, God. What do you want now? Uh, those blasted elves didn't write anything down. The dealers are positively unfriendly. Uh, I could use some oil to make the wood more available. Some cat gut to string the bow uh, and make... Make a handle for a shield or a flawless ruby. Always handy and certainly pretty. Oh, I, I know. A Grandmaster Lightning Room. Oh, yeah. Just a Grandmaster Lightning Room. Um, I'm thinking about a bow rather than a shield because we both have pretty nice shields. So, uh, get you a nice bow, Nathaniel. And, uh, oh, you need a nice helmet, don't you? I have to go back into the bloody place to find a helmet for you. God damn it. Uh, <laughs> brilliant. Okay. Quest updated. So... It is there, but I'm going to write it on here. Oil? Cat's got... Oh, that's really nasty. Because that's what they used. Uh, ruby. Oh, flawless ruby. And a Grandmaster Lightning... I could probably get that now, actually. No, I'm not so worried about that one. Um, Oil. Right, so that's, that's you done. You're back. You need anything? I... Uh, Got the ore deposit. Look at the yeah, the ore. <laughs> this will help a great deal. Good. Wade, the commander found a silverite deposit. Armor and weapons could be made with this. I'll just get to it then. No one appreciates. No. Oh. So is that ongoing? Okay. Right. Hello. Trade here is good. Thank you. I don't remember inviting you, but cool. Hi. How are we doing? Oh, you're back to visit old Dworkin? I found some Lyrian sand. Wonderful. We can start making more explosives. Thanks for your help. Please, take these. I have Use them to give those beasties a what for. <laughs> Slightly deranged. I like it. I haven't used any of your explosives yet. I must admit, I completely forgot all about them. And over here, yes, I found your granite. Any luck finding the granite? Yep. Splendid. But I can't risk my men to darkspawn attacks. 
You'll have to send soldiers to secure the site. Uh, how important? <laughs> it's very important, I suppose. I mean, I found it anyway. I know I'm depleting my soldiers by putting them here, there, and everywhere, but I'm just, I'm, I've just spread them out everywhere. I don't know whether it's making much of a difference. Um, I did say, just try and defend everywhere, and we had a revolt. But I don't know, see, I don't know whether that was because I tried to spread everyone everywhere, or, you know, whether it was going to happen anyway. It's difficult. Uh, is it important? You can't neglect your stronghold. If the vigil falls, where would that leave your lands? Yeah, fair enough. Merchants and farmers aren't much against an army of darkspawn. Fine, have your bloody guards. Thank you, Commander. The vigil will not fall, I swear it. No idea how many... I could have, like, three guards, but anyway, there we go. Found the granite. I could have, like, three people in the entire keep because they're all out guarding granite and stuff. Um, it was oh yes, you need a helmet. Right, fine, let's go and get you a goddamn helmet, Nathaniel. And then, then we will go back to the city. <laughs> okay, because currently, I believe you have, like, a leather helmet or something. Yeah, with plus three physical resistance. Surely we have something better than that, since you stood with me against the assassination attack with Al Hao supporters. You'd have think, yeah, that's really just done it for me. So, nope, nope, no helmets for you. No, nope, that's it. Not one. Unless there was one over here. Nope, there's a commander's helm. Oh, well. That was a waste of time, though, wasn't it? I, I thought there might have been something better for you, Nathaniel, but apparently we're a bit short on helmets. Oh, there, there is one minor thing. Let us pause get that there. Oh, and I can bring these diamonds over here. Uh, there's a lot of keepers' cowl, so you can have spell power and spirit resistance. Yes. Nope. Oh, there you go. there's a helm of Honleith. Heavy armor, plus two percent to all, plus two to all attributes, and plus three armor. That's got to be better than what you're wearing. It'll increase your fatigue by quite a lot, but the plus two to all attributes make you look silly. Though I will leave it. Let's go again for like the fiftieth time. So you, yes, you, yes, you. yes. Don't get any silly elf women with us. I didn't like her. Shouldn't really come into um, the fact, but it did. Didn't like her. Didn't like the way she was acting do and stuff. Do you do anything besides ponder what is just and unjust? It is not all I do. It does, however, define my being. So you were born just? A little self-righteous baby of justice crawling around the Fade? I was not born. I simply am. Simply am. There we go. Yes. We have got everything here. Okay, good. And I'm off. And I'm off indeed. To there. Where is that? Oh, yes. We did that. Then I'm going to go over here, obviously, because it's like the only place there is left. But we have a few little things in the city to attend to. When are you ready? Now, should I mark this quest as active? Or are we going to go through this sort of thing again? Should I just go straight to the bloody chantry? How are things doing, by the way, Aiden? Are we good? We never thought we'd be rid of those smuggler rats. Thank you, Warden Commander. You're welcome. Let's make this active, shall we? Um... There's a lot of people in here. Do, is is it marked on the map? It's just like a lot of... Okay, there's a, there's one there anyway. Just go down here and see. Do, was I supposed to turn something into you? I forget. Ooh, there we go. Rune tracings and stuff. I don't think I want anything from you. No. Pure iron. Is that something that... I need. It isn't, is it? Uh, dwarven helmet. No. Okay. All right. The big arrow is a bit of a clue, I admit. 
You're back. Have you any news? Yes. Uh, it was Nelf. Uh, dealt with your problem. The collision. Yeah, just Sam. It's done. Really? Oh, oh, that's wonderful news. I promised a donation, didn't I? Here, take this. With the Merchants Guild's compliments. I'm not going to ask for any more. These people are, you know, I'm got, I'm fine. Actually, yeah, keep it. Do something for the families of Because I don't need it. I've got loads of gold. You are very kind, Commander. I shall do as you ask. Make a smile on you always. I like that though, you could ask for more, you could take it, you could give it away. Pretty sweet. Nathaniel approved of that, that's good. Okay. Should I just go to the Enchantry? Or maybe it's this mysterious house up here that I have to go to. We don't have the key to it, do we? That has always bugged me what that bloody house is. Right, let's go to the... This is a nice bow, though, thinking about it. Someone needs to clean all these bodies up as well. I know I said that last time. It's it, it's it's relevant still. Clean these bodies up. So, the Chanter, do I have anything for you? Repent and have faith, and you shall know the peace of the Maker's benediction. Apparently so. Sylvan Wood. Okay, good. 15 gold for that, and as this approves, but only by a little bit. Yeah, three, 300 sovereigns now. Pretty dandy. I'll get on it. She's probably here. I mean, the last woman we were looking at was here. Everyone, women just hang out with the Chantry, you know. If you're looking for some action, go to the Chantry, because that's where all the single ladies are. Well, widowed. Recently widowed, in fact, you know. It's going to be pretty unscrupulous to do it, but, you know, if... Having said that, she's not here, is she? Should we have a word with her again? Oh, she's not here. Are we going to do this again, game? Are we going to wander around looking for a NPC? Is that what we're doing? Maybe. Oh, I can check out the Lost and Found, see if it's any, uh, see if it's sort of relevant to me now. Immediately. What have we got? A knitted scarf, not so much. Um, let's see if I can make this quest active. Do, yeah, I've got to get find Kendrick. Oh, so I've got to go with him again. Uh, no, what, no, that was the other guy. Kendrick and... Yeah, him. So, yeah. Back to the Merchant's Guild. Your wish is my command. Now, when I press map here, a little arrow will show me where she is because, you know... And I've said it before, as much as I do not really like following an hour around uh, in games, it can help when you don't know where anything is. And you've got no real clue either. You know, I like following instructions, but it's just like in the city is nothing there. Merchant's Guild though, Merchant's Guild's over there. Let's go to the Merchant's Guild. I know I just said Merchant because it was a generic, generic Merchant, but that's where he is. Got two more quests to turn over there, and maybe she's at the inn. I'll take care of it. Having said that, she could be drowning her sorrows at the inn. I'm hoping so, because otherwise I don't know where. Uh. It's not you, is it? Oh, Kristoff, it's good to see you back. Did you catch those darkspawn? Ah, uh, I believe it is better to say that they caught him. What do you mean? Him who? It is of no matter, good woman. Thank you for your kindness. It was appreciated. Confused. Oh, there we are. We've got a little arrow now. Sweet. Yes, I, I may have some bad news. Uh, you go first, dude. No, not, not you. You. Hello? Bran, I don't know this person. Is there something you want? My companion is not comfortable around strangers. 
Oh yeah, you gotta do something about it, are you, mate? Uh, look. You've been unfaithful to your husband? Not really what my business is, it? I'm just gonna ask if you're Kinnan's wife. Yes, I am, Nida. Something has happened, hasn't it? I... Um... Sweetheart, oh. could you give us a moment alone? Yeah, jog on. Is... Is Keenan dead? Yes. Uh... He died making the world better for us, all of us because he wanted me to say that. He said that, did he? Yeah, he did. His wedding ring. Thank you for bringing this back to me. Keenan always said he joined the Wardens to give me a better life. Was it really better for me to be alone in a strange country, wondering if we'd ever have a family? No, I don't care, alright? Um, not really any of my business. But we should all make sacrifices, because I certainly have, I suppose. I've been dragged away from my home and stuff and everything like that. Keenan made the sacrifice willingly. He never asked me if I felt the same. Love can only take you so far. I am just going to go. So yeah. Nice, that's nice that, you know, because even though it didn't have any consequence, they put more to it than just like, you know, you give her the ring and she's sad. You know, the, you know there was little story to go with that. They didn't need to be there, but they put it there anyway. Um, simply because it was a good thing to do. And I, I like that, you know, little human tale. Right then, uh, out, find the way out of the inn, sadly. There we go. Two more quests to turn in over here, and then we shall head to a new area. Um, then I'll probably take a break in between. It's been a while, you know, I finished the uh, Wending Wood and went back and finished a few quests at the vigil and finishing, you know, so I'm sort of like cleaning up now, you know, before we start another little chapter of this rather extensive and impressive expansion. You know, they haven't just sort of bolted this on. This has uh, taken a lot of time and effort to do and it's very impressive. Now, I gotta say, like, certain expansions um, do tend to be a little bit bolted on and I have to say that uh, in a little bit of a tangent here, Throne of Baal from Baldur's Gate 2 it's just a series of boss fights. Yes, it's very good and enjoyable, and, you know, I, I, it's one of my favorite games, but the expansion does seem to be lacking something that the main game had, and it's uh, basically a <laughs> plot, I suppose. But, uh, you know, I think it is a fitting um, sort of expansion to, to Baldur's Gate 2, but it just seems to be lacking. You know, it's just like, go here, kill this, go here, kill this, go here, kill this, whereas this is a little bit more, got a little more to it. Uh, is this where I'm supposed to be? Ah, Kendrick, hello. So good to see you again. It seems I owe you a reward, yes? Yes, of course. Thank you. And another one? It is so okay, good that was, to see you well, Commander. That was both of them. So... Yeah. Current quests. Other metals and stuff. Search for merchants. Wade's stuff. Delirium stuff with the bombs. There's a wraith hanging about, and yeah, the uh, the bow that I can make. Yeah, otherwise, we have a route to the Darkspawn threat at the Knotwood Hills. Uh, Cobra and Mika told you they encountered Darkspawn near a chasm in Knotwood Hills. Find the chasm, they discovered and eradicate the beasts. And Captain Garavel, Seneschal Vera and Mistress Wolsey have provided you with leads relating to the Darkspawn you should investigate as soon as possible. So it looks like next we're headed Hmm, to there. Although this is on the way. I'm not sure what, if there's anything here or not. I might have been here before. It's not mentioned in the... I suppose I could go there on the way back. In the journal also. I could have already done this bit. I'm not entirely sure. I, it's a vague memory that I have. I found some dead bodies there. Um, so yeah, I think this is a wreck thing that I've already done. Whereas this is obviously sort of the next step in the main game. So... That's where I'll head, straight from Matherin, just go around here and uh, eradicate the Darkspawn from the Knotwood Hills. So that will be next uh, next episode, next session. But as I said, yeah, it's, this is uh, this is really, really good stuff. The uh, the awakening sort of thing, because yeah, the the other the other the other uh, DLCs are, 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 are sort of like quite quite short and small about an hour to three hours long or whatever they are 
This is yeah, really, really uh, engaging and nice and uh, just latches yeah. onto the main game quite nicely. So, bravo, and I heard a cur purring kitten then, which was nice. But yes, all right then, I'll uh, see you next episode. Thank you very much for watching. I do mean it because, you know, I know that it's, uh, well, you don't have to watch. Um, so the fact that you are shows that I'm, you know, doing something right for some of you. And uh, so I do appreciate your, your company on my journey, journey through uh, Dragon Age Origins. So until next time, toodaloo.